previously on Life is Strange. Whoa. What did you find? Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. We can't trust anybody except each other. You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. What are you doing in my dorm? You are so fucking dead! Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. What are you doing here, Max? Victoria has to be next. What a lame gimmick. Rachel, why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Oh. <gasps> Rachel, what? I'm sorry, Chloe. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I know you're close to Nathan, but your life is in serious danger. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Oh god, Max, look. She's still there. Oh! No! Chloe! How? What the fuck? God, I don't remember anything that happened. This must be the same drug Nathan used on Kate. <laughs> uh. 
Finally, I'm free. Almost. I hate looking at myself like that. You'll pay for this, Jefferson. I promised I would never go back in time like this again. But this is the only way. This angle highlights your purity, see? The slightly unconscious model is often the most open and honest. No vanity or posing, just pure expression. Oh, Christ. Look at that perfect face. Hold that stare there! Stay still! Max! You fucked up my shot! But please don't worry. We have all the time in the world. For now. I knew you were special the second I saw your first... selfie. Yes. I still hate that word. But I love the purity of your own image. Not like Rachel, who was always looking in the wrong places. Poor Rachel. Let me try this angle. Don't move! Oh. <sighs> Much better. Thanks, Max. If only Nathan could see this setup. He tried so hard. But you can't just throw a few subjects around and expect a cohesive style or theme. But he had an eye for shadows, and an eye for a whole lot more, as his elite family will find out, along with Arcadia Bay. Nice. Oh, good. Oh, those eyes. It's just too bad you're so goddamn nosy, Max. But this room is under 24-7 surveillance, so all I had to do was text you from Nathan's phone. And you fell right into my hands. You really should have focused on schoolwork, not private detecting with your little friend. Chloe. Chloe, right. Hey, I'm sorry that I killed, that Nathan killed her in self-defense. But she had a troubled history, like most Arcadia Bay dropouts. Nobody will be surprised. Or care. Though I promise, people will care when you die tonight, Max. I wasn't lying when I said you have a gift. Okay. Now this looks good. Maybe a few more close-ups. Max, please do not move so much. I need you posed and framed my way. Maybe a new dose will calm you down. No, no. no. Now don't move or this will hurt much. Stupid! Bitch! You just don't listen, do you? In fact, you never did hear much in my class. If you had, you might have seen all this coming. God damn, you are a fighter, though. I've had my eye on you, and I've noticed that you've been more fearless this week than maybe your whole life. Remember my number one rule. Always take a shot. Okay.
can't believe that happened. So sick. Okay, I broke those files when I kicked the trolley. I'd really like to smash that fancy camera into Jefferson's face. Wait, Jefferson couldn't handle stains on his photos. Good, now I can use them. I'm definitely more awake in this photo. I could try this one. This might work. Please work. I'm getting some spectacular images here, Max. Yes, Victoria would kill to be in your place, but she doesn't understand our connection. You're the winner, Max. I choose you, your portrait. Fuck you. You're trying too hard. I know you're scared. You all have the same doe-eyed look when you wake up here, replaced by fear as you realize what's about to happen. Mr. Jefferson, why are you doing this? Oh, Max, I'm so glad you asked that question. Uh, simply put, I'm obsessed with the idea of capturing that moment innocence evolves into corruption. That shift from black to white to gray and beyond. Most models are cynical. They lose that naivete. However, some Blackwell students carry their hope and optimism with them like an aura and those lucky few become my models my subjects yes you're a psychopath and this is your last session au contraire max i'm so sane that nobody knows what's happening to you right now and don't get me started on your late partner i had enough of those faux punk sluts in my seattle days Go to hell. You will for everybody you've hurt. Unlike pure sweet Kate Marsh, I don't believe in that bullshit. She could have been my masterpiece. The world is what an artist makes it. And my muse... Kate believed, and she survived. You failed to break her. She's stronger than ever, and she'll outlive you. She'll certainly outlive you. Who knows? Maybe I'll pay Kate a visit soon and test her faith again. You will not get away with this. I want you to know that. Too bad you already made a convincing argument against Nathan in the principal's office. Thank you so much for setting him up for me. I do know that the Prescotts are going to have a major scandal when the town finds out what their elite son has been doing for homework.
you used, Nathan? I prefer the term manipulated. Like with an image. Nathan's was easy to twist around. I became a sort of father figure for Nathan. It happens often in teacher-student relationships. It was kind of touching for a while. Did you tell him everything about your plans at Blackwell? Don't be stupid, Max. I told him what he needed to hear. In return, I had access to the Prescott fortune. Who do you think paid for this glorious darkroom and equipment? How else could I get all these hip new drugs for my subjects? Rachel Amber was your victim, not your subject. Oh. Rachel Amber. Hm. That's the real tragedy. Nathan thought he could be an artist like me. Instead, the dumbass gave her an overdose. Chloe and Rachel. You killed both of them. They're fucking together in heaven right now. Is that what you want to hear? Why? 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 Start listening to me, you dumb cunt. I'm sorry, Max. <laughs> that was not cool. Anyway, Rachel is dead. But no tears. Los Angeles would have killed her anyway, so look at this as a favor. You're evil. Oh, I see. You and your friends almost beat Nathan to death. See, we're not so different. Yes, yes we are. I cared more about Nathan than you did. No, you didn't. It's just too bad that he fell in lust with Rachel. He actually thought he could mimic what I do with the camera and subject, like father, but not like son. Where is Nathan now? Dead and buried. After what he did to Rachel, I knew I couldn't keep him as a protege for much longer. Now the police will never find his body. Do you finally get it now, Max? I can't compromise my vision with amateurs. You are an amateur. Look at the trail of death you left behind. You can't blame all this on Nathan. I don't care what you do to me. You're gonna die, motherfucker. For Chloe and Rachel and everybody else. I do love your spirit, Max, but you brought yourself here. By your own choice. Anyway, I like my models to be seen and not heard. So I have to make sure there's nothing left behind of you. Okay. Now, let's see how these shots came out. I can see why your instant camera is so appealing. You don't need a computer to print your work out. Alone with a heart, I have all those photos in my diary. This could be a way out. You're so appealing. Your workout was so appealing. You don't need a computer to print your workout. Alone with a heart. Okay. Wait, please. Mr. Jefferson. Max, I would love to talk shop, but I really need to go over these pictures. Especially while they're fresh in my mind. I think our session was a career high for me. Could you... Could you show me the photos? That's the first time one of my models down here has asked me that. Of course you would. But I love that the last thing you'll ever see is yourself through my camera eye. Too perfect. Please. 
You... you still have my diary. Don't worry. Nobody's going to read it. Thanks for reminding me. There's nothing more innocent than a teenager's diary. Oh, look at your selfies. What a waste of talent. Look at that shot, Max. You can do so much better. I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic trick. Right back where I started this insane week. And nobody course, is going to hurt Chloe know, ever the again. The portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, <laughs> since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I'm not into capturing your interest. That's kind of sick, isn't it? <laughs> I guess somebody hasn't had their coffee. Do you want to try again? Okay, okay, the Daguerrean process. Blah, blah, blah. Let's, uh, let's move on. Hmm? Uh, anyway, so the Daguerrean process made portraiture quite popular mainly because it gave the subjects clear, defined features. You can learn more when you finish reading the assigned chapters. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday time Heroes to change time. The winter to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the First, artwork. let's make it real easy to capture Mark Jefferson. And Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Bastard. I have to warn David about Jefferson and the dark room. Did you know someday your pictures would actually alter time and space? I hope I still love photography when this is done. Don't confuse the art with the artist. I should be able to track down David's number from the school pamphlet. Found you. For once, David, I'm praying you'll overreact to this as much as everything else and take Jefferson down fast. He wanted me to enter the contest, asshole. So maybe I'll be going to San Francisco. And Jefferson, you'll be going to prison. The past within the past. Am I pushing myself too hard? It doesn't matter what happens to me. I have to save Chloe. Hi, Kate. Oh. Hey, Max. Kate, listen to me. I am. Always remember that you're not alone. I've got your back no matter what happens. So do a lot of other people. We all care. We're all here for you. You need to know that. Max, that makes me feel so blessed 
for the first time this week. I, I don't know what to say. That's okay. Neither do I. Maybe we could both use a hug. Thanks. You always know the right thing to do. This is the last time somebody bullies you, Kate. I'm sorry you have to stand next to that psycho. Mr. Jefferson, we need to talk. Uh. Can you see I'm talking to Mr. Jefferson now? I can see you're kissing ass again. Nothing new. What did you just say? Hold on, Victoria. Are you okay, Max? Not until Victoria knows that hiding behind a screen and posting videos of people is totally fucked up. You know how easy it is to hurt somebody? To destroy their life? Are you proud of yourself? If you have any feelings left, you should think about your actions. Listen, I, I didn't... Of course you did. You're so insecure, you can't even be happy with your own talent. You have to try and bring everybody down to your mean and ugly level. Okay, I do not have to listen to this bullshit. Do I, Mr. Jefferson? Well, it looks like you already did, Victoria. Then... I guess I'm done talking. I sure hope so. I'm not going to say I didn't enjoy that, but why? Here's my photograph for the Everyday Heroes contest. Oh, uh, that was easy. No, it wasn't easy at all. Well, I, uh, I, I can't prejudge yet, but I'm very Happy you decided to enter. That means a lot to me. And Blackwell, the, the first step for any artist is to put themselves out there in the world without fear. To be innocent. Or guilty. Ah. Uh, well, thanks for the photo. And maybe both of us will be jet-setting to San Francisco this Friday. Or maybe only one of us will be going. Don't be so modest, Max. Anything can happen in a week. As you're going to find out, Mr. Jefferson. Okay, Max. You're safe. 
On a plane. I hope I did everything right this time. Good work, David. Be careful. I'm still between realities, and I can't focus on this one for too long. See, ten across six letters blue. It's so weird to be in between realities. Everything is out of focus and in the distance. We're almost in San Francisco. I'm so stressed, but. I'm so excited too. I have to admit, I love being called an artist. It's the beginning of the end for Jefferson and the Prescotts. Please. Aw, I haven't seen Hot Dog Man in forever. Chloe and I used to totally play the video game and watch him all the time, <laughs> when we were innocent. Please fasten your seat and stow any electronic gear until the plane is on the ground and at the gate. Thank you. We're starting our descent in a few minutes. It's a beautiful day in San Francisco, with clear skies and cool 60 degrees. We hope you enjoyed your trip, and we thank you very much for choosing Pacific West Air. Come fly with us anytime. Uh, I don't think so. I'm hoping these airline seats get smaller so I won't have to fly at all anymore. How did you sleep? Hope I wasn't snoring out loud, Max. Just a bit. It's been a tough week at Blackwell. So I hope you'll forgive me. Between Mr. Jefferson and Prescott's, things have been hectic to say the least. I totally get it, Principal Wells. That's a smart way of telling me to stop whining. We are proud of you for representing Blackwell at the Everyday Heroes Contest. I know I'm not exactly the guy you wanted in San Francisco, but we all want you to have a great experience here. I already am, and we're not even there. Oh, Christ! Another nosebleed? Max, you're not just screwing around with time. Francisco is so cool, and this gallery is huge. So is the buffet. If an event skimps on the food, you know it's a bad event. As long as I don't have to eat any caviar. This is your day, Max. You can do whatever you want. I hope you take advantage of your status and talk to as many influential people here as possible. Work the room. 
I don't know. I, I feel so weird, like I'm a little kid hanging with the adults. Max, after this week, you are certainly not a little kid anymore. In fact, you're a noteworthy adult being honored by your peers. Now you have to start acting like the photographer you want to be. Hell, I wanted to be in charge of a big school someday. So I started taking charge of things when I was young. <laughs> Ask my poor classmates. Max, I'm gonna eat up that caviar so you don't have to. Uh, better get in there and start schmoozing. You know, I won't always be here to take charge. But you come talk to me whenever you want. Come on, Max. After everything that's happened, this should be the least scary thing you've ever done. Wowzer, Max. You did it. Somehow. I went from the dark room to this gallery. I've been through so many realities in one week. Life is... weird. Wow, sir. A Danny Lee article. I wonder how it is to live in a submarine like that. It must be really claustrophobic. The revolution will not be televised. How fun. Yes, Warren would definitely go ape over this show. Holy shit, this flyer was designed just for Chloe. I wonder if I'm ready for the mosh pit. But what would I wear? I need to drop some serious cash in there. The Zeitgeist Gallery does have a cool history in Frisco. Uh, I mean, San Francisco. I wish I had time to go see those murals here. Why, good morning. You must be Max Caulfield. Congratulations for your everyday heroes photo. The exhibition is quite impressive, especially with your entry. There I am, along with all the other winners. I should say artists instead. I heard Mark Jefferson was supposed to be here tonight. Not anymore. Not my That's style, so but the neon is a I nice representation. Hold on to it. Oh, this shit. Pretentious alert. Are you Max Caulfield? Bravo on your entry. I'm the art critic for Iris N Magazine, and we would love to include you in a piece about future trendsetters in photography. I'll send you the details this week, if that's okay. Congratulations for your piece. Look at this print. The depth of field, the colors. Look at the bulk of shape. This was definitely shot with a medium format camera using a Leica 35mm lens. You can definitely find out those details. The story of a photo if you know how to look at all the details of a picture. Oh, this is so interesting, Matthew. I didn't think you knew about all this. When I was younger, it's great to read all these comments. Even the mean ones. I did a lot of photography studies. Didn't I tell you about it, Emma?
whatever. I know it's kind of simple, but... So, how are you handling your new fame as a photographer? I don't feel like a famous photographer yet. Every journey starts with the first step. I'm only a Blackwell bureaucrat, not an artist. But you've made us proud with the great response to your work so far. I don't know. I'm just lucky. There's no way I'm a real photographer yet. Don't sell yourself short, Max. Maybe I feel guilty for celebrating. Leave that to me. I... I should have been more proactive about Kate Marsh and her awful situation. She's strong, and I'm glad she made it out of that hell. I should have put my foot down with Nathan Prescott. Or put my foot in his ass. I did tell you that Nathan was involved. Not that I expected anyone to believe me. I'll regret that for the rest of my life, Max. The Prescotts knew how to protect their own, and Jefferson had such a great reputation. Nobody expected him to be so disturbed. I couldn't believe the police found those sick photos in his dark room. Oh, those poor girls. At least he's in jail along with Nathan for kidnapping and murder. And Sean Prescott is now under serious investigation for all his years of corruption. Money and power can only protect you for so long at Arcadia Bay. The irony is that for once, Sean Prescott actually had no clue what was going on with Jefferson. And he even brought him to Blackwell. I'd like to think there's some karma involved. The Prescotts have had this coming. I do believe that what goes around comes around. I just hope it's all good for a change. I'm hoping this is a fresh start, Principal Wells. Like I said before, you're an adult now, Max. You can call me Ray. Oh, at least for this event. Now, if you'll excuse me, I hear the buffet calling me again. Young and grunge. He'll think about those days for the rest of his life in prison. Good. Oh, hey, you're the one who entered the self-portrait. Or actually, do you call it a selfie? Anyway, I was very impressed about how you subverted it to make all of your photo subjects the focus. Oh, very smart. How do these galleries afford to rent here? God, I love art. You must be the everyday hero from Blackwell. My name is Lauren Francis and I run the media department at Detroit School of Visual Arts. I'd love to talk about you being a residency next spring. Don't say anything to Principal Wells, yet. That is different. Loving the retro vibe. Me too. Makes me want to go buy an instant camera. I can't believe I'm in San Francisco. How can I process this after all the death I've seen this week? I wish Chloe was here with me now. Without her, I couldn't have fought Jefferson. And she always pushed me to not be shy about my photos. Even if that feels so trivial after what happened with Rachel and Kate. But for whatever reason, I have this power. I hope I finally used it right.
Hi, and there she is to save the day. Hi. You did it, Max. You're a real artist. At least, for today. Are you okay? We lost uh, you there for a second. Your nose. I'm okay. Uh, jet lag. High altitude. Oh, you left the ringer off, idiot. Oh, come on. Please answer. What? Oh no. Chloe, where are you? I'm so fucking scared! I'm, I'm by the beach! I'm Chloe! Stuck. Can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Oh my god! The tornado was real! Oh, I didn't fix shit! Chloe will die! Arcadia Bay is gonna be destroyed! There has to be a way to stop this! For good! No fucking way. Chloe can't die again. I have to save her. How do these galleries afford to rent here? God, I love art. Now, it feels like reality is breaking apart. What am I doing to time? My previous timeline was so perfect. I just have to make one simple change so I won't end up in San Francisco. Simple. Sorry, San Francisco. Chloe comes first. Here again? I thought I fixed everything. What did you say, Max? What? Jefferson should be in jail, not here. Jesus. It's like you're back in my class. You're still spacing out. It might be cool if you took one of your patented selfies now. The transformation between the old Max and the new Max. Anyway, answer my question, please. Eat shit and die. Good answer. Good answer. Hey, your nose is bleeding. 
probably gave you too big a dose. Sorry about that, Max. But considering you're about to die, a nosebleed is a first world problem. Your iris, that dilation like a shudder. The pictures you're taking of me now. Too bad you pissed away your gift. You could have won the contest, but you destroyed your own beautiful photograph. What a waste. Sorry, I burned all your stuff. I got a little carried away. Fuck. He you burned my diary. Always. That's why I'm still here. Especially since you've developed from nerd to hero within a week. There's something... weird going on with you. Whoa. Did you see how crazy it is outside? Like I said, something weird. There's that fear. Oh, Max, it's an honor working with you on these final sessions. I hope these images will be appreciated for what they truly capture. The loss of youth. <laughs> At least, that's the last lecture you'll ever have to hear from me. And I promise you, no more nosebleeds. Mr. Jefferson, please, don't do this. You don't know what's happening. Shh, 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 shh. Quiet. Quiet, Max. <laughs> Please, don't do this. I promise, this final dose won't hurt. One last request. Oh, you got me, Max. How can I deny that face? Would you uh, take one last picture of me? I, I want to be your best subject. I almost don't believe that, but I think you've finally learned from me. This final dose won't hurt. What? David, watch out! How? How did you know that? Get the camera next to you! No gun. No balls. Jefferson, it's over! Jefferson. It's over. You are not going to stop me. It's over. Oh, Lord, Max. Are you okay? Are you all right? Can you move? 
Yes. Thank you, David. Thank you. Don't thank me. You brought me here. Let's wrap up this son of a bitch first. He won't be going anywhere when he wakes up. Except you are going to prison forever. Or worse. Mr. Jefferson, now it's your turn to be captured in a moment. Save Chloe. He burned everything, including all of my photos. Warren, yes, I, I can use that picture he took of us. Shit, no signal. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson, but you won't need this anymore. The Prescott's had to know about this. I better go outside and call Warren. Oh, please answer. I had no idea he was this sick. Hold on, Max. So, where is Chloe? David... Uh, Chloe is... is... dead. This isn't happening. You can't... No, God. Not Chloe. Max, are you are you sure? Are you Yes, I I saw her. I I saw a Jefferson killer in the junkyard. Last night. Last night? When I was feeling sorry for myself in my hotel room. I promised Joyce that I would protect her and Chloe. How can I face her and explain this? I never even told Chloe that I... I... God damn it! You killed my wife's child, you sick fucker! And you took away my stepdaughter! David, wait! <laughs> Max, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you had to see that. What a mess. What have I done? All that time I wasted with surveillance. Uh, Chloe, I'm sorry. Joyce, I failed you. My family. You didn't fail. You did your best. Max, you better get outside. You've seen enough of this room. David, I... thank you for saving me. is dead now. Freedom. 
Holy shit. This storm's real. I need to find Warren. Yes! Warren, can you hear me? Never mind. Listen, do you have that photo you took last night in the parking lot? Yeah, but why? It wasn't that great a shot. Yes, it is, and I, I want it. Where are you? I'm at the Two Whales Diner. Pretty much trapped in here with Joyce thinks this Armageddon weather. I'm expecting the ocean to turn red. I'm on my way. Come on, that's crazy. You can barely walk on the sidewalk outside. Seriously, Max, stay wherever you are. That's okay. Me too. But it's not over yet, Warren. So hold on. of sin and entitlement would lead to God striking us down. And I'm the one trapped in this fucking radio station. Somebody get me the hell out of here now! Now, God damn it, how do I pay all those prices? You have one new message. Message received yesterday at 9 p.m. Max, it's, it's Nathan. I just wanted to say, I'm sorry. I didn't want to hurt Kate or Rachel or, or I didn't want to hurt anybody. Everybody used me. <laughs> Mr. Jefferson is coming for me now. All this shit will be over soon. Watch out, Max. He wants to hurt you next. Sorry. Evan, did you see that tornado? 
Adam? Get the hell out of here! Max, there's no way I can pass up these images. Just look this at it! Adam. You can't it's take a picture when you're dead. Now move your ass. Okay, if you insist. Whoa, Max! You do know things. You're such an idiot. Only if you don't find a safe spot until this blows over, okay? Now I better listen to the real everyday hero. Come with me. I have to help somebody else first. Melissa needs help again. Can I get out of here? If we can make it out of this, Chloe. Oh, this makes me so sad. I just need to switch on the electricity to activate the sprinkler. He's dead. Electrocuted. Right now. I need to breathe. Uh, I need air. I can't die in this room. I can't. You should get out of here. The whole town's dying. Okay. I better hurry to the diner over there. I need Warren's photo.
she's not here. I hope she's in a shelter. I never even asked her name. Evacuation. Once again, this is not a test. This is not a test. An E6 tornado warning has been issued for Arcadia Bay. Go get him, Juliet. And surrounding counties. The emergency broadcast system At least is nobody's open. going to starve in here. Max! Oh, Max! Oh, Jesus, I am so glad to see you, sweetie. Are you okay? Yes. What about you guys? Two whales is barely standing now. I don't know if it's gonna make it through this tornado. Oh, poor Officer Barry and all those people out there. I know. There. Okay, get your ass inside. I have to get back to this gentleman on the ground. Lauren has been gathering all the first aid. It's not much, Joyce, but it's all we have. You okay, Warren? How the hell did I ignore all those warnings, Max? The snow? The eclipse? There's nothing you could do about it, Warren. I'm so stupid. Should have seen it coming. I'm so Hello. glad everybody is safe here. But I need that photo from Warren to help Chloe. Sorry. Sorry. No, no, I'm just a pussy. Sorry. Come on, Max. Let's talk over here and give Frank some rest and space. Joyce, how are you doing? Just when I think I've already been through the ringer. Where's Chloe? She's safe, Joyce. She just sent me a text before my phone died. Oh, thank God. I was torturing myself before you showed up. Oh, God, if something happened to Chloe while well, I ended up stuck at this diner again. I'm sorry about all this, Joyce. Don't be, honey. It's not like you whipped up this tornado on your own. Um, I mean, I'm also sorry about everything with David. You don't have control over any of that. David is an adult, and he has a lot more age and experience under his belt. If he doesn't always show it. I know. I just feel like everything that's going on with us is the perfect storm for Arcadia Bay. I just want our lives to be normal again. With all the shit going on this week, I think you're right. And look at me, I'm trying to keep my family together. And Max, did I make a mistake kicking David out? David saved my life from the storm. I saw how much he cares about Chloe, even if he couldn't show it. David needs you more than ever, and I can see why you love him. I'm so happy David was there for you. He has a lot of weight on his back from the war, but he truly wants to help people. He even agreed to take a family counseling class. You know, after he hit Chloe. I'm sure that was a hard thing for him to do. It shows how much he truly cares about you and Chloe. Nothing would make me happier than for David and Chloe to make peace, not war. But I don't know what to do anymore. I just... I just want this storm to blow over forever. Maybe it's time we leave Arcadia Bay. If we can. David is a real hero, Joyce. I know that all he wants to do is make you happy. I know he would do anything for you. And Chloe. I know. And yes, he's not William, but that's okay. He's not supposed to be. You reminded me of when he came into my life. I was ready to give up. 
David's love gave me strength. He even told me I was his hero. And I can't give up loving him. I want him to come back home. Oh, I hope I get to tell him that soon. Focus on the people here. I was just about to drop. Okay, Max. Excuse me while I go help this other gentleman. Frank, I'm so glad you're here. Are you okay? What? Besides this tornado, the hole in my leg, and the fact that my dog is dead. Not to mention I could die on the floor of a diner, and you're the last person I might see? I'm cool. Jesus. And I bet you and Chloe didn't find Rachel. Right? Oh, Frank. I don't know how to say this, so... I just will. Rachel is dead. Fuck you, Max. No. No way. She left town. She's gone. Now, how do you know, huh? How? All of our clues led us to my professor, Mark Jefferson. He had this creepy photo torture chamber, and we found out he was using Nathan Prescott to drug and photograph Blackwell students. Prescott? Fuck! Fuck, I knew it! I should never have hooked up with that sick punk! Papadou hated him. How did he kill her? He used some drug and gave her an overdose. An overdose? The only way Nathan could have done that is, is if I sold it to him. I killed my lioness. No, what have I done? Where is this motherfucker Jefferson? He's dead. He won't be hurting anybody anymore. Rachel, oh God. She was the one good thing in my life, Max. I know she was too young. I expect her to leave me, just... It's not how it happened. I would never have stopped her from going after her dreams. I know. Neither would Chloe. I knew Chloe and her were... close. I was jealous, but, uh... Now I see why Rachel dug her. And Chloe was man enough to ask me for help after all that shit we went through. Chloe would appreciate that. You know, the one time I met my dad, the bastard quoted the Bible and said he wanted to enter his house justified. In other words, to do the right thing. Me too. And maybe you're helping me get there, Max. Don't get me wrong, kid, I still think you're weird. But you're cool. Please be okay, Chloe. I can't lose you. Max. Oh, give yourself one moment to do nothing. This is where I convinced Chloe I could rewind time. So, what's the point of this power? What's the lesson? To keep fixing what I keep fucking up? No, because I didn't ask for this gift. But I, I was able to stop Mark Jefferson. And now I, I can stop Chloe from dying. For the last time. Do you think this is the 
hate to say I'm glad to see you, but I'm so glad to see you. That's okay. The important thing is that you're safe. And I know you can take care of yourself after Nathan. Should have done that a long time ago. But damn, Max. I can't believe you actually drove down here in the middle of a fucking E6 tornado. Just for one photograph? I mean, I know you didn't come for me. Warren, I came for all of you. Just tell me you do have the photograph. I just want... Now shut up and listen. Oh yeah, you're finally going to tell me what you never did in the parking lot. I wish I would have. So I'm just going to tell you without any explanation. Trust me, okay? I always do. You should probably tell me quick. I had a vision in Jefferson's class of a tornado destroying Arcadia Bay. I went to the bathroom and saw my best friend Chloe get shot by Nathan Prescott. You with me so far? Where else could I be? Go on. Then I found out that I could rewind time. And long story short, Mark Jefferson is insane and dangerous. Whoa! Is that all? I, I think that the storm started... Everything started when I found out I could rewind time. There's no way this is just a coincidence, right? Max, not only the storm, but the eclipse. The birds, the whales, everything. All because... because of me? How? I'm not a real scientist, even though I play one at school, but this seems like pure cause and effect. Maybe chaos theory. What happened with Jefferson? Did... did he hurt you? Nathan accidentally killed Rachel Amber trying to impress Jefferson. He just needed mental help. Now they're both dead. Jesus, Max. I want the whole story, but... I guess we really are out of time. But I can still change things. What do you think will happen? For every action, there's... there's a reaction. Whenever you reverse or... or alter time, maybe you cause a chain reaction. Even in the environment. Warren, I know this all sounds insane. But you're the only other person who I can count on now. I wish we had more time together. Do you believe me? Max, of course I believe you. You're the most amazing person I've ever met. And I'm glad you trust me. Always. I just wish I could trust my powers. I guess we'll never know if it's magic or science. Even if it's from a wizard or a wormhole, you're part of something bigger. I don't believe in fate or destiny, but after this week, I realize I don't know shit. That makes both of us, Warren. I do know you're here for a reason. And I guess it's up to you to find out why. Max, I'm sorry you got stuck in this. In this, I don't have a fucking clue what's going on. But I have total faith that you'll do the right thing when the time comes. I'm so proud of you, Max. How could there be a more important moment in history? And I'm in the middle of it with you? So thank you for trusting me. Thanks for being here. Always. Please be okay, Chloe. I can't lose you. Hey, be careful out there. For luck. Just in case we don't get out of this, I wanted to say... I know, Warren. Of course you do. I'm going to make the right choices from now on. I swear. That's why you're super max.
got no time for this shit. Come on, Max. <sighs> Chloe! Jesus, dude, what is up with you? I'm just glad we're here together. I guess you need to talk. No worries. It's all good. I'm glad you're with me, too. What's going on, Max? We have to find Nathan right now. He's gonna sorry be more connected to Rachel. Let's go. Now. Chloe, wait! Listen! I can walk and listen, okay? Stop and listen for once! Fine, Max. I'm listening. Chloe, you can't go in that party. You're going to... You're gonna die if you do. You used your powers, right? And you fucked around with time and I died. Not like that. You're supposed to back me up. So there's no way that punk-ass bitch Nathan Prescott is taking me down. You're right, he won't. Mark Jefferson killed you. And others. Jefferson, the art teacher? That's bullshit! Nathan is the fucking serial killer! We saw the proof! Now excuse me, I'm going to that party to make sure he never hurts anybody again. Are you coming? Nathan is dead, and you're in danger. That fucker is already dead? How do you know that? Because I was there. Will you please tell me exactly what happened? Please. Chloe. Jefferson drugged and kidnapped me. I was tied up in his bunker. You have no idea what hell I went through to get back here. But I couldn't let you die. You brought me back here, and I can't lose you again. I won't. Um, Max, I'm... I'm so sorry. I was the one who dragged you into all this shit. Nobody, especially you, should have to go through that. I... Now we have to stop Jefferson. With one bullet. No. Not this way. Chloe, I, I can't keep fixing everything if all I'm gonna do is just break it over and over again. I know how this is gonna turn out, and I'm afraid I'm fucking up all these alternate realities. Wait, alternate realities? What do you mean, Max? What did you do? I fucked up, Chloe. I wanted to make things right, but everything turned out wrong. Max, what the hell are you talking about? I, I was able to go back in time to the last day William was alive. I stopped him from leaving, but... But you ended up in a car crash instead. You saw my dad again? You... You were completely paralyzed. And you, you were in pain. You were slowly dying, and you... You asked me to end your life. I did. For you, I... I didn't want you to suffer in any other timeline or reality. I, I, I couldn't bear the thought of you in any more pain. God, Max. That must have been... That must have been awful for you. I'm... I'm so sorry I had to ask you that. It was worse for you. But I had no idea what would happen, and as usual, I messed everything up, and... I never want to hurt you. Ever. You have to believe me. Of course I do. Do you think I would even know how to handle that situation? Nobody would. The important thing is that we're together again. You're right. That's, that's why you should come with me, so we can stay together and stay alive. I hear you, Max, but do you think we should let Jefferson get away with torture and murder? Of course not. If we tell David, he'll believe us, and he can actually stop him. Right? I don't get it. Why do you trust him after you totally reamed him the other day? He's not even at our house anymore. Oh. 
Although he, no matter how much of a douche he's been, David truly cares about you. Yes, a slap across the face is a sure sign of tough love. You should have seen his reaction when I told him that Jefferson killed you. He was crushed. Are you serious? I... I can't see him showing any feeling. Except towards my mom. So what's your plan? We tell him everything, including that Victoria is in danger. Okay. You've been through so much. I... I believe you, Max. After all, I'm still your faithful companion. Yes, you are. So listen, in a few minutes, I won't know any of this happened. Nothing. We absolutely have to stay in your room and do nothing. Then we explain everything to David, and we finally let him do his job. You'll have to tell me exactly what I did and said just now. Just explain that I traveled through time using the photo. Will you believe me? I'll always believe you, Chloe. realities just to save my ungrateful ass over and over and I hope it was worth it but I don't blame you for wanting me out of your life after all my drama come on I'm the official drama king and queen of Arcadia Bay this week just look at what my powers have caused in just a short time I'm nobody you're Max fucking call for me time warrior. Even if you weren't, you're kind and caring. Nobody could have a better best friend. No. You didn't ask for any of this to happen, but it did. You need to accept how awesome you are. Maybe I willed it subconsciously to myself. I always wanted my life to be special and adventure, but not without you. And it, it didn't happen until I moved back here. So... Without you, my powers wouldn't even exist. And for whatever scientific, mystical reason that we'll obviously never figure out, we were meant to be together at this exact moment in history. I have to think that Rachel was somewhere behind the scenes, fighting for justice. I'd like to think that too. We all owe Rachel Amber. Now tell me everything that happened. You, you remember, right? Well, we... We left the party and made sure Jefferson couldn't find us. For once, I was glad I lived in an actual fortress. Then the storm got hella crazy, and, and you said we would be safe at the lighthouse. Chloe, look! The storm is getting bigger now. It's coming closer. Oh, I, I can't even believe this is real. This is happening because of me. Stop it. Is this, stop beating yourself up, okay? We both paid our dues already on it. God, look at that. Look at that monster. Who knows? This could be Rachel's revenge. Our revenge. The lighthouse is out of the way of the tornado. Come on! What? Chloe... I've got to go back, Max. Whoa! Alfred Hitchcock famously called film Little Pieces of Time. I'm but back in class. As he likes what the hell? Lives. These pieces of time can frame us in our glory and our sorrow. Have to listen to this Jefferson lecture again. This might be hell. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer okay, who perfectly this captured is messed the human condition up. in black and white? Am I stuck in a time loop? Anybody? Bueller, 
Diane Arbus. Be calm and you go, don't Lord. freak out. Why Arbus? Yet. Because of her images of hopeless faces, you feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, Wait, right? What's going on? And frankly, it's bullshit. Nobody even cares? Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. Everybody's gone now. Have I totally fucked up time? This doesn't make sense. You didn't die, Kate. You're alive. Oh, that's too creepy. Not yet, you bastard. Holy shit. Look at all these dead birds. Uh, this can't be real. I don't care if this is a dream. Or a nightmare. I'm taking this picture. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I just wanted to know if you'd like to spend the rest of your life in my dark room. Your purity inspires me so much, and we could be so happy together. Who needs selfies when I can give you portraiture? There's no way I'm saying that. No way. It's about time somebody finally killed Chloe. Think of how often that bitch almost got me killed. It's like you're doing both of us an awesome favor. Chloe can never appreciate you the way I will, Maxine. And yes, I insist on calling you Maxine forever. This can't be real. I don't believe it. Max, why did you stop me from jumping? What kind of friend are you? You never understood me, or what happened to me. Now my family will never leave me alone, and that means I'll always be alone. Thanks to you. Kate, that's not true. I've always been your friend. Did you think they were 
This one is for Samuel. Don't try to hide, Max! Get over here! Let me capture you! Jefferson is coming after me, Dave. Max! No you more. used to be so pure, so innocent. Now, you have to die. Please understand, Max. The only place I can be my selfie is in the dark room. I can't believe you let that hillbilly murder me in cold blood. I can't believe you. I can't believe you let that hillbilly murder me in cold blood. What happened to your spark, Max? I thought I could be your professor for life. I realize now you'll never be an artist, much less a photographer. Come here, Max. Class is dismissed. I miss those days. Max? I miss those days when you looked at me in class with those wide eyes. I want to be your professor again. I can teach you so much. Max, remember what John Lennon said. Happiness is a warm gun. I hope you're happy that I'm dead.
Look into the lens, Max. Turn right. Now left. Good evening, Blackwell. This is Principal Wells. And I'm here to drop the mic on Max Caulfield. Caulfield. Max. Max. Good evening, Blackwell. This is Principal Wells. And I'm here to drop the mic on Max Caulfield. Attention. I regret to admit... Max, where are you? Max, come out to play. Come out to play, eh? Hey, babe, babe. Who wants to go, ape? Go, ape, go, ape, babe, babe. You dig my wheels, Max? Get in the car. I'll take you for a ride. Get in the car! I knew I should have given that scholarship to Victoria instead of Max. What kind of sick Come over here, young Max. You're my spirit animal. Max. When I'm oh. Max. Come over here, young. Samuel, sure you never can't hide from your white knight. Give it up. Come over here, young Max. You're oh, my shit, Warren. That is too weird. Fucking scary. Too bad. You Just in case I need evidence. Max, imagine if we were in that dark room together. Max. Max. Oh. Do you have... Hold on, Max. Do you have... Max? Do you have a scarf I can borrow, Max? I may be wish I could take on a press card, but at least I'm honest. You just use your power to cheat at life and cheat your friends out of life. The only way you'll ever get in the vortex. Be a feminazi. I will try to take on a press card, but at least I'm honest. You just use your power to cheat at life and cheat your friends out of life. Hey, Max. Get your bony ass over here. I'm gonna cut you open, freak. Those were my bees. Max. Max. Oh, no. Bottles. Hey, Max. This might be hell. Oh man, Rachel looked just like a zombie model in the dirt. Just bone, meat, and maggots. Oh, I would be all over that shit. You want to take pictures? Well, these ones aren't too hard to find. Do you want to say hello to Rachel? Hey, Max. Do you want to say hello to Rachel? She's posing for me in hell. Oh man. I have to be with her one final time. Oh, when did I get bad bottle karma? Of course I see what you're talking about. Max, sit down. You're taking a time out no matter what. If this is my nightmare, let me have one sanctuary. Of course this is where Chloe 
And Rachel used to hide from the world. But I can't hide for long. Whatever reality I'm in feels like a bad dream. Am I just not learning my lesson? Maybe your real lesson is to get out of this place. Just don't be afraid, Max. Let them be afraid of you. Max? Lot happier. My blood spirit. Max! Lot happier. Hey, Max! Max! Hey! Max! Max! Come on, girly. Oh, Max! Man, Be my greatest portrait. Hey. Max? Chloe is dead. Max! Still bottles to find. Joy. You took some of my drugs. Please let that be the last one. I need proof that bottles were out to get me, just in case. Max, you need to get high like Rachel. Rachel. What? dare question the chef. Right, like you're the real cook here? I am, when your mom's away. I'll let her know that. Hello? Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the two wins. What? 
Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. Excuse me, ladies, I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She don't have many bags of delicious grub for us you to feast upon. You are ridiculous. Upon. You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Where are those keys? Another dollar for the swear jar! You're bankrupting me! Aha! You can't hide from me forever! Now lock up after I leave. Play nice. Try not to destroy too much of the house. And no... Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad! How long will this nightmare go on? I think you'd be perfect for my new photo series on retro grunge. You have the same qualities that I loved in Rachel Amber, but not Max. Max is a fucking child. Oh Christ, I know. And she never shuts up, does she? I'm so over her hipster bullshit. I think everyone at Blackwell is over Max. Let's prove it. Booyah, Warren. I thought you were all over Max's shit. Not after she kissed me. Her breath was ass and no tongue. I hear that. I'm not into nerds, but you're pretty cute. I'm not into Max anyway. So let's bust a move. God damn, you are a sexy bitch. Why hang out with Max, huh? Boredom. Plus, she's like my personal puppet. I hear that. Do you want a party? I got a drugstore in my room. <laughs> oh shit, look at Max spying on us. Take a fucking picture, bitch. Or take a selfie. See, this is how you bust a move, Max. No mosh pit for you, shaka bra. Damn, Victoria. You're a real woman. Not a little girl like Max. I fucking love your tats, Chloe. You're so hot. I can't believe it took us so long to hook up. Why did you get rewind powers? You don't even know how to use them. Rachel's dead, and you're still alive? Life is so not fair. I wish she would have never come back to Arcadia Bay. You're the real storm. I'll be so grateful if this is the last digicode.
Don't kill us, Max. I guess I'll never dance again, Max. Right when I was about to start a new life in California. Look, I know things were bad between us, but that doesn't mean I deserve to die. Max, I hope you do the right thing. I hope. I can't believe you kissed me. Now you're going to kill me? Max, please save us. Save the Bigfoots, Max. Please. Honey, I always thought of you like a daughter. And now you're going to take me away from my family. Why would you do that? Max, you're exactly the kind of soldier I'd want by my side in a war. Son of a bitch, this is going to hurt. So this is how Max gets her revenge on. Max, you saved my life. Gave me the chance to catch one more fish. Thanks for that warning, Max. You treated me like a human, not like trash. I sure hope you do that for everybody in town. Honey, I always breaker, thought breaker. of you like a daughter. Thanks for saving me and, and carrying the load, good buddy. Away. That's a big tip for. This is Why not would you how do I wanted that? to spend my last hour on Earth. Max, can Killing you call my mother and so servant and cool. tell her that I love her? Wow, Max. Right when I finally find a cool chick to date, you have to kill us off. This sucks. Breaker, breaker. I guess my Thanks husband and new me. baby Carry will have load, to go without me. Buddy. That's a big 10-4. Max, I hope you can live with yourself after this. I know I haven't been the best principal to you, but you've been a great everyday hero for us. Please save us. I guess my husband and new Don't baby let the squirrels die. will have to go without me. You've always had my back, and now you're going to let me die? Thanks, Max. Oh, Max. What exactly was the point of saving me if you're going to let me die? You've always had my back. Please, and Max, now don't you're kill going me to let so me die. We can finally have our Thanks, tea Max. session. Max, I want you to know how much confidence you gave me. Nobody ever did that for me. I survived poverty and an abusive family. Just so I can end up here to die. I wish we had been friends, Max. But please, don't let me die like this. I'm still a teenager. Max, I'm truly... I truly am sorry for being such a bastard. You would have been cool to hang out with. I just don't want everybody else to suffer like me. Who... who are you? Holy shit, are you serial? I'm you, dumbass. Or I'm one of many Maxes you've left behind. Can you get me out of here? Oh, so you want help? <laughs> Thought you could control everybody and everything, huh? Twist time around your fingers? It wasn't my choice. I didn't ask to rewind time. Stop playing innocent. You've left a trail of death behind you. You even let that stalker Madsen kill Jefferson. That's sick. You're way more of a cold-blooded killer than him or Nathan. No, I'm a survivor. I don't have any experience in time travel or stopping psychopaths like Jefferson. I did what I had to. Oh, the jury will love to hear about your mad time travel skills. I know what I am. You're just trying to hurt me. You're a goddamn hypocrite. Just look at the pain you've caused. That was not my fault, you son of a bitch. Don't you dare talk about our mom that way. <laughs> what about the crap that was your fault? Wait, wait, let me guess. You fucked up time and space for your precious punk Chloe? You think she's worth all that? This has to be my destiny to save her. I wouldn't be trapped in here if I didn't believe that. No kidding. 
Chloe trapped you with her drama. Guns, drugs, Rachel. Even stealing money from the handicapped fund. <sighs> She's just using you, dude. Like, she even asked you to end her life and do what she couldn't do by herself. Chloe does a better job of guilt tripping me than you do. Because you let her bully you. It's called Stockholm Syndrome. But you didn't do that homework, so you'll have to learn the hard way. Like Rachel. Just shut up. You're not scaring me anymore. I'd be more worried about Chloe killing us than Jefferson. Max, do you really think she's our friend? That she respects us in any way? Man, you are so stupid. <laughs> I'm embarrassed to have the same name. And someday Chloe will destroy... Oh, hell, speak of the devil. Dude, do not even fuck with her head. She knows what we went through together this week, and you don't. There's no way you can break up our team. This is reality. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. I am seriously glad to see you. Welcome home, Max. Fasten your seatbelt. I, uh, know it was your birthday last month. This was my real father's camera. I want you to have it. Yes, of course it's cool. Thank you. This camera is so sweet. Now that we got that mushy shit out of the way, I feel like stage diving. Let's thrash this place. Yep, yep, I'm fucking insane in the brain. Let's dance. Shake that bony white ass. Or take my picture with your new camera. This song fucking rules. Can't dance, hippie? Come on. Rock out, girl. Yo, turn it off. Turn it off. You need to hide now. My stepdad will kill me if he finds you here. You were here today, Max. You saved me. I'm still tripping on that. Seeing you after all these years feels like... Destiny. If this is destiny, I hope we can find Rachel. I miss her, Max. What the hell is this? Snowflakes? Or a storm is coming? Max, start from the beginning. Tell me everything. Let's talk about your superpower. Epic! I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to play. You need a sidekick to guide you. Okay, girl wonder. Show me the way to Chloe's cave. Welcome to American Rust, my home away from hell. Raw and rough. It suits you. Max, do you know how awesome this is? I get my best friend back, and she's also super-sized? I don't feel so super. Uh, Max, here, um, let me help you find a place to chill. You freaked me out there. Do you feel any better now? You saved me again! Crazy. Now we're totally bonded for life. Since you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur and companion. My powers might not last, Chloe. That's okay. We will. Forever. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. I might get on the other side of that door before you, Lupin. The race is on. See you soon. Welcome to my domain. You are magic! I have no clue how the hell you got in there, but you did it, sister.
You saved me again. Crazy. Now we're totally bonded for life. Since you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur and companion. My powers might not last, Chloe. I'm so, I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. Max, you better come check out these files. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. No, you are not taking the cozy chair. Max, do your powers include mind reading? Or did you just rewind because I tried to steal the chair? Shit, I'm confused. It's the powers of best friendship. I know how you roll. Cowabunga! Why look, an otter in my water. Your power is changing everything, Max. Especially you. I can already tell. You're not so chicken shit anymore. Thanks, girlfriend. And you make me feel like I have a reason for still being in Arcadia Bay. Let's call it a draw. I'm gonna freeze my ass off when I get out. You look cute with your hair soaked in chemicals. Hide! Hide! You can't go back to your dorm now, you're a Blackwell fugitive. Crash at my place tonight. Photobomb! Photo hog. It feels like a different world from yesterday. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. I wish we could just hang out all morning like we used to. Maybe we should get up. I have to get back to Blackwell soon. I double dare you. Kiss me now. Sorry, not that easy. Oh, like I am? Just admit that you already macked on me, then used your rewind. Now I can text Warren that you're saving yourself all for him. You're such a dork. everywhere in this bad boy. Can you see us heading down the coast of Big Sur and beyond? I know. Just daydreaming. It makes me ill that Rachel posed like this for Frank. I wrote him love letters. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? Because she knew how you would react. And she wasn't much of a friend, huh? Just another person who shits all over me. Why does everybody in my life let me down? My dad gets killed, you bail on me for years, my mother gloms on a stepfucker, now Rachel betrays me. Not until I see it first! You know the rules, Dad! Dude, I am so lucky that my father is cool. Max, you are being so fucking strange. You feel okay? Chloe, I am awesome! We are awesome! <laughs> It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. Some picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. Listen, Max. My respiratory system is failing, and uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So I know I'm just putting off the inevitable. While my parents suffer along, and I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. What? What are you saying? I'm saying that being with you again has been so special. 
I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible and you made me feel that way today. I want this time with you to be my last memory. Do you understand? Chloe, you're back. I'm just, I'm just, I'm so glad you're here. You sound high, but thanks for the morning grope. Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. <sighs> Victoria has to be next. Nathan must be planning to dose her tonight at the Vortex Club party. Rachel, this can't be real. These are all, these are all post shots, right? Right? The junkyard! Max, we have to find that spot now! Then, then we can see what he did. There's no way she's dead, no way! She posed for those pictures, Max. I know it, please, let's go. Rachel! Oh, Rachel, no, no, please, not her! Chloe. I loved her so much! How can she be dead? What kind of world does this? Who does this? Come on, Max, we're almost there! Never do that again, okay? I swear. But that nightmare was so real. It was so horrible. This is my storm. I caused this. I caused all of this! I changed fate and destiny so much that I actually did alter the course of everything! All I really created was just death and destruction! Fuck all that, okay? You were given a power, you didn't ask for it! And you saved me! Which had to happen, all of this did! Except for what happened to Rachel! Without your power, we wouldn't have found her! Okay, so you're not the goddamn Time Master, but you're Maxine Caulfield. And you're amazing. Max. This is the only way. I, I feel like I took this shot a thousand years ago. You... You could use that photo to change everything right back to when you took that picture. All that would take is for me to... To... Fuck that. No. No way. You are my number one priority now. You are all that matters to me. I know. You proved that over and over again. Even though I don't deserve it. I'm so selfish. Not like my mom. Look what she had to give up and live through. And she did. She deserves so much more than to be killed by a storm in a fucking diner. Even my... My stepfather... Deserves her alive. 
There's so many more people in Arcadia Bay who should live. Way more than me. Don't say that. I won't trade you. You're not trading me. Maybe you've just been delaying my real destiny. Look at how many times I've almost died or actually died around you. Look at what's happened in Arcadia Bay ever since you first saved me. I know I've been selfish, but for once, I think I should accept my fate. Our fate, Chloe. Max, you finally came back to me this week, and you did nothing but show me your love and friendship. You made me smile and laugh like I haven't done in years. Wherever I end up after this, in whatever reality, all those moments between us were real, and they'll always be ours. No matter what you choose, I know you'll make the right decision. Chloe, I can't make this choice. No, Max. You're the only one who can. Max, it's time. Chloe, I'm so, so sorry. I, I don't want to do this. I know, Max, but we have to. We have to save everybody, okay? And you'll make those fuckers pay for what they did to Rachel. Being together this week, it was the best farewell gift I could have hoped for. You're my hero, Max. Oh, Chloe. I'm gonna miss you so much. I'll always love you. Now get out of here, please. Do it before I freak. And Max Caulfield, don't you forget about me. Never. It's cool, Nathan. Don't stress. You're okay, bro. Just come to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. You don't know who the fuck I am, or who you're messing around with! Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho!
Thank you.